This is Kate from PageFly. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Layout element in PageFly Gen 2 Editor by using Layout element with Flex Section and Flex Block. You can create clean and responsive designs that look great on any device. Let's dive in. First, head over to PageFly Dashboard to open the Page Editor to access Layout Element. When you click the button to create a blank page or choose a template, you'll see two editor options. To use the new layout element, select a Gen 2 editor. Be sure to read the provided information for a complete understanding before you begin. You can still use the layout element with traditional rows, columns, and blocks by selecting the legacy editor. For more details about the traditional layout element, let's watch the video tutorial in the top right corner or in the description. Now we are landing on Gen 2 Editor. Click on the Elements icon and choose Layout Element in PageFly tab. Drag and drop the desired layout variant you want into the editor and then start using it. Let's configure this element. The core layout elements that form the PageFly page are the blank section and blank block rather than the section, row, and column used in the legacy editor. Blank sections are the main building blocks of any page. You can easily add other page lie elements or Shopify elements directly into your blank section. When you add a blank block to page editor, it will become the flex block. This element acts as a container for other elements, allowing you to arrange and style them in a flexible way. In addition to the blank section and blank block, we offer six ready-made layouts to jumpstart your design. However, feel free to customize these layouts to match your unique vision. For example, I will drag this layout element into the page editor. You can add another empty block element to it. You can create a section that has multiple columns by arranging flex block elements horizontally. And when these block elements are placed one above the other, a layout with multiple rows is created to reorder blocks in a flex section, click and hold the three dots on the left side of the block you want to move. Then drag the block to its new desired position within the page content. In the flex editor, you can now easily group elements together into a flex block. Just select the elements you want to group, then hold down the control key for Windows or command key for Mac while selecting them. This will automatically create a flex block containing the selected elements. To edit the style of the layout element, you can adjust with variety of parameter in the styling tabs. I'll demonstrate how to use the layout element with this example. I will add this layout with three blocks. In the first block, I will add two more blocks inside the first block. Click on the block container, head to styling tab and adjust direction to vertical, horizontal, or stack. Now, simply fill in each block with your desired content. I'll add a heading to this block and customize its appearance. Then, I'll quickly demonstrate how it works. to customize the other blocks. Simply replicate the steps I demonstrated, add your desired content, apply any necessary styling and position them within the layout. All done. I will set a fixed height for the entire section, set the value as 680 pixels. Then for each block within the section, I will set the height to fill so that their heights will automatically adjust to match the section container. To add space between these blocks, adjust the horizontal gap. To create spacing above and below blocks, set the vertical gap. You can set the size, including width and height of each block or the whole section here. Switch to mobile view to check responsiveness. Similarly to all devices, you can adjust styles for individual blocks without affecting the rest.
This is the end of the video tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe us on YouTube channel to get more new videos. Thanks for watching.